everybody, this is Charity and welcome to a new series. So I have the Westfall Stories, which is a playthrough of the Ghost Town Challenge. And I decided to do a version of that that is based on base game only. And this also has no mods. And I'm not going to use cheats very often, but I might have to use cheats in order to set my money to something. Uh, if you don't want to use cheats, you can actually make a household or download a household into your game and just transfer money back and forth between those two households. So you can actually cheat money even without cheats. So I have made this little base game house and this is available on the gallery and we have one newborn. Now the goal is to get the newborn all the way up to toddler or actually teenage age, but we're gonna start with just toddler and you're not allowed to control any of the other Sims. Now we have six toddlers and the newborn and then we have one adult. We're allowed to call nannies, uh, butlers don't exist. So nannies would probably be a good idea. We can also get a maid. Now the things you're allowed to do with the adult is to hire services, pay bills, uh, bake a cake to age up anyone who has a birthday, and do things that basically resolve issues. If you have a bug or someone's stuck, then you are allowed to get them unstuck. Now, I'm not sure how the nannies work because some of the nannies, if you hire them during the day and then allow them to leave and then hire them again, they will actually be the same nanny. And unfortunately, they've had no sleep. Now, the reason why I prefer to have a nanny around is because they will actually pay more attention to the newborn and not let the toddlers interrupt them. Whereas the adult who is in the household will mostly pay attention to the toddlers. Oh, right, but there's infants now. I completely forgot I designed this house before infants were a thing. Um, yeah, so I will need to add some infant items to this place. And all of my toddlers are independent which means that they're going to go use the potties when they have to. And the benefit of that is that they won't have to be bathed as often because they won't poop in their diaper. So all of these kids have outfits from base game. And this is little Crystal. And it looks like she has almost a twin, Nicole. And then we got Major, who is the redhead. And Elizabeth, who's going potty right now. Tracy. And Guy. And these toddlers, I believe, are all brothers and sisters. And are actually all children of Suzanne. That's why they all look sort of similar. Is because I had to have them all related. Or they will not sleep in the double beds together. And I'm not putting single beds in here. Because you know what happens with the monster. See, that's the third time the nanny has gone to visit the baby, and the baby's not even crying yet. All right, no one's really hungry, so I am going to put this in the refrigerator for now. Okay, the first one is hungry, so I'm going to set out the macaroni and cheese in hopes that the toddlers will come grab it and not have to sit in the high chair all the time. And we have our first taker, little Lizbeth. Okay, it says Ibrahim is very hungry, but he's not crying. Why? All right, I'm just going to feed him this once because that's ridiculous. Oh no, here comes the nanny. Don't just play with him, feed him. I know he's not crying, but he actually needs some food. And she leaves. Okay, we're going to have to feed him. I don't know why he's not crying. Are you broken, Ibrahim? Okay, I think if you let the nanny zone out and then you call her back, she will come back. I'm not sure how we used up all that mac and cheese with just the toddlers because I thought it was eight servings and we don't have eight toddlers. 
Maybe it was only four servings. I think only four of them got fed. Oh good, she's using the grill. That's why I put this in here because I wanted her to make group meals and that's a good way to cheat your Sims. Ah, you stopped, why? Anyway, that's a good way to get your Sims to make group meals is to force them to grill because every grill recipe is an eight serving meal, except for when they get interrupted. And now I bet she will not continue that. Oh, she is. She's going to resume it. Um, okay, I was about to say it X'd out for some reason, but no, she's going to resume it. Okay, and now we have food on the table. However, all the hungry people are asleep. Well, the baby is broken. It never cries. And then the adult is not going to sleep despite it being late. This is not going to go well. Okay, finally, she's going to sleep. And now it's just the nanny and the baby. Okay, another thing you're allowed to do is if a Sim is completely done sleeping, you can wake that Sim up. Oh, but it looks like the tantrum is maybe waking them up this time. No, they just look like they were kind of paying attention. I think you have to have parenthood for the kids to actually be woken up by someone throwing a tantrum in the same room. So that's one benefit of only having base game. I had that problem in my other Let's Play, is that whenever they were tired, they would throw tantrums, and so they would always be tired and always throwing tantrums, so none of the toddlers ever got any sleep. Now, unfortunately, in order to call the nanny back, I'm going to have to wake her up. Oh, and he's very hungry again. Come on. Why aren't you crying? Is that not a base game feature for babies to cry? I'm pretty sure that newborns cry even in base game. I guess Ibrahim is just broken. Well, whenever that notification pops up, I'm going to allow myself to tell the main Sim to go feed him because that's just ridiculous. He's supposed to cry and someone is supposed to come feed him. Okay, it's Ibrahim's birthday, so we're going to age up the baby, and then we won't have that bug, because I know that infants are very, very vocal. They will basically make an adult pay attention to them. Okay, and I'm not really sure what we should pick. Maybe sensitive? And if you didn't know, infants in base game basically have all the skills right away. Okay, now we can control Ibrium. So if we're hungry, we can actually ask to get fed. And since we don't have any milestones, all we're really doing is waiting until our birthday. Now, if you're an infant, you want to use your diaper before your bladder turns red, because I've found that if your bladder is red, that it will actually be more likely to give you a blowout, which will require you to get a bath. Another tip is that if you're sleeping, the hunger need goes down half as fast. So it's better to sleep if you're tired. And then if you're hungry, wait until the adult is awake. Okay, so she's awake now. I am, why is she going to listen to electronica? Come on, that's going to wake the infant up. Uh, unless it doesn't because I just play with base games. Okay, yeah, see, I'm used to playing with all of the packs, and when you play with all of the packs, certain things happen that don't happen in base game, and I completely forget what is a pack feature and what's a base game feature. Okay, someone feed me. Don't do what's that. Get fed. Come on. Why is this so hard? Okay, why is this not working? <laughs> Okay, let's try the high chair. Maybe they'll feed me in the high chair. <sighs> Why? All right, I can get fed in the high chair. For some reason, they will not give me a bottle. So I guess the challenge here is going to be to keep my hunger topped off. Because if I let it go too long, it's hard to get the attention of an adult. Where are you going? Outside by yourself? Okay. You wanted to come say hi to Lily. I don't know why. I think that might give her permission to come into the house. That's not necessarily a good thing. 
Okay, we found three foods that he likes. He likes oatmeal, ice cream, and hummus. So for the unicorns, we have Uni, and I asked my daughter to name the other ones. So this is Rainbow Pony, and Toilet Water. So it looks like all of the toddlers are aging up on Saturday or Sunday, and Ibrahim is going to age up on Saturday. So we will have a toddler after only one week. If you happen to know a nanny, sometimes they'll just ask to come over and hang out and then you can get their services for free because basically they already know all of the toddlers. So they will basically take care of the toddlers even if they're not working. All right, she said she wanted to hang out and I said, yes, where is she? Okay, so she's over here. And it seems that infants can get anyone to come inside just by saying that they need help. And before you do that, you do have to know the person, but you don't have to have the adult introduce them. All you have to do is click on them and click friendly and coo at or smile. And basically the infant can do it from wherever they are. It doesn't matter that the person isn't close. And I find that to be a little bit silly. So basically we have introduced ourselves to two people outside of the household, Zoe and Malcolm Landgrab, because they just happen to be walking by. And that is one of the things I'm gonna do to make sure that the infants have something to do when they're an infant, since I don't have growing together enabled. Basically, they have to try foods on the high chair until they find at least three things that they like or they've tried everything. Then they have to introduce themselves to two people out of the household and they need to take a bubble bath. And I'm not sure what else I was going to require. I think that's basically all that you can keep track of. Maybe play with toys but there's nothing really that tells you that you did it. At least when you introduce yourselves to people outside the household, you can see them on your friends panel or acquaintances panel. Actually, I haven't made friends with them. Maybe we should say that they have to make at least one friend outside the family and they have to introduce themselves to three people. Okay, this time when I tried to coo at someone since they were far away, Ibrahim is actually crawling over towards the person. Last time I was being held by an adult. And so they basically kept me from crawling over to my target. I wonder if he's going to go all the way over there. I really don't want that. Let me pick someone closer, Ibrahim. Okay, why aren't you asking for food, Major? Okay, there you go. You are hungry. You need to ask for food. All right, he was talking about grilled cheese, but I don't think that was asking for food. Oh, and she's leaving, of course. Time to call the nanny back. Okay, she can't get inside because she hasn't been invited. If I can't get them to come inside, it's going to be really hard to make a friend outside of the household. When a toddler or a child talks to a person outside of the household, they actually can come inside. But I guess the infants aren't counting for whatever reason. Plus, for some reason, this infant cannot babble. You're supposed to get babbling as part of the milestones, but it looks like all you can get is crawling, sitting, and eating food. You don't get pincer grasp. You don't get babbling. You don't say your first words. I mean, I know those are all milestones, but I don't have an option to babble when I go to friendly. I can either chomp, watch, smile, or coo, but that's it. Okay, let's try to eat one more thing because I wanna make sure you're completely full before you go to sleep. No, don't go to night night. Try one more thing and then maybe we can put you in your crib. Okay, it seems like the nanny is not making any food and it also looks like Suzanne is not making food. So maybe we should hire a caterer. Okay, it looks like that's not an option. We can order a pizza. I guess hiring a caterer is part of a pack. I'm not sure which pack it is, but it's not part of base game. 
All right, I think if I don't accept the pizza that she will just leave it right there by the mailbox. I think that's the way it works. Well, she's not putting it down, but I don't think that anyone is really that hungry anymore. There's a couple of hungry ones. One of them sleeping. Come on, set the pizza down. Nobody's answering the door. There we go. Okay, yes, toddlers can take a slice of pizza, which doesn't really make sense. I guess it would make sense if the pizza was already cut up, which they mostly are. Um, but that one doesn't look like it is. Okay, it's Ibrahim's birthday, and it's Saturday at 5 a.m., so that's not too bad. Let's bake a cake. Hey, you're in my way. Well, I think I can age them up even without a cake. Yes, I can. And we got a bonus tray, top-notch infant. And we're going to be clingy. Sorry, I don't really care for the do-rag. <laughs> I'm going to change that. All right, the easiest way to get thinking skill up is to watch someone. So basically now that he's a toddler, our goal is to max out his toddler skills. And that should be pretty easy. We also have to wait until it's his birthday. I think for the other toddlers, we're just going to allow them to age up when they age up. So that way I get an extra day. Because when they become children, they'll be easier to care for. But then again, they also will be closer to aging up into teenagers. And once they're a teenager, they have to leave the household and I have to get another toddler. And I might go with infants or maybe just one infant because we really only have one crib over here. And then the rest toddlers. Now, it'll be interesting to see how quickly I can get these toddler skills up without having all of the packs. Because there are a couple of things in the packs, namely that tent for imagination, that's absolutely insane. And then the slide is really good for movement. So I'm not sure exactly what we can do that's going to be OP, except for maybe watching. Because I think watching is good no matter how many packs you have. All right, I do need to learn how to use the potty, though, because unfortunately, I am clingy and not independent. Oh, is he actually going to go use the potty? Maybe I should watch him. You can get some potty skill by watching another toddler potty. Well, 14% of level isn't the best, but it's something. Oh, after one potty round, he is only 66% complete, so he will have to learn how to use the potty twice before he can use it on his own. Now, if they're tired, you can have the adult read them a bedtime story and that gets them the imagination skill and it also puts them to sleep. And that was worth about 33%. That's not bad. Well, Ibrahim has reached level four of thinking and has level two in potty. So that means that he can go to the potty without asking an adult. So the toddlers will start aging up on their own tomorrow or the next day. And then we just have to focus on Ibrahim and getting him up to par on all of his skills. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.